Lung Protective Tools. Initial ventilator settings. Setting minute ventilation. Minute ventilation is often arbitrarily set from the product of the device operator's generic tidal volume and frequency settings. Here's a couple examples. The operator selects a tidal volume of 500 and a frequency of 14. This will give us a minute ventilation of 7 liters per minute. Or a tidal volume of 500 and a frequency of 12. So this is 6 liters per minute. One more example. Let's say we set the tidal volume to 600 and the frequency to 12. This is 7.2 liters and I'm going to use this as an example. Now let's look at the table predicted minute ventilation requirement based on ideal body weight for both genders. I'm going to use my green highlight and I'm going to circle the male portion of the table. As you can see I'm circling the male icon. And now let's look for that 7.2 liters minute ventilation. And as you can see, that's associated with a height of 69 inches. So this is a 100% minute ventilation requirement for a male that's 69. And let's go over to the female side, go down to the 7.2 liters. And as you can see, that is for a female that's 72 inches tall. Now let's see what happens when we use my generic settings of 612 on every patient. This is a good way to make your profession obsolete because there's modes of ventilation that can do it a lot better and more precise. Now I erased all my green highlighting. What I'm going to use is a yellow highlighter now just to point some stuff out. Now if your male patient is under 69 inches and your female patients are under 72 inches, then you're going to be hyperventilating all these patients. Additionally, if your patients are deeply sedated or paralyzed, any male patient greater than 69 inches or a female patient greater than 72 inches, they are going to be hypoventilated. Now precisely setting my minute ventilation. I'm just pulling out my lung protective tape and you see predicted minute ventilation. And my patient was 67 inches tall. That's the example I'm using from a previous video of measuring my patient. So I'm using my height and inches column. I'm scrolling down. I don't have 67. So I'm gonna scroll over to my next table and find 67 inches right there. And you notice ideal body weight in kilograms, 66.6. .6, and the 100% minute ventilation requirement, 6.6 .6 liters. On my Servo 900C ventilator, I have a minute ventilation setting. I'm pointing out with this kind of um, pink highlighter arrow here. And I just point out the minute ventilation measured value. I'm going to adjust this to 6.6. .6, I'm going to zoom in on the minute ventilation setting so it's easier to see and you can see that I set it at 6.6 .6 liters per minute. Now I'm just going to zoom out and show you the measured value of my minute ventilation at approximately 6.6 .6, so I have 6.7. Now my minute ventilation is precisely set. Reference and attributions. First, Background images of some slides were created by using a very high magnification of hyaline membranes as seen in diffuse alveolar damage associated with acute respiratory distress syndrome. Second, the Servo Ventilator 900C operating manual and it can be found a PDF copy at the following link. Third, Lung Protective Tabulations book and lastly, the lung protective tape.